Do you want me to actually go first? <laughs> transition my biggest fears and worries were basically I had no idea what I was doing. One person's transition is not the same to anybody else's so um, yeah it was scary I mean you, know, you don't know what you're gonna look like you just you're kind of going on hope. No matter what I did in life no matter where I went I was never gonna be accepted um, for who I wanted to be. I didn't know how to tell my family and because uh, religion played a major part in my, my life and my family's life, I just thought that it would be something that I was going to keep to myself and never really get a chance to do. I just probably live miserably <laughs> in my corner. My biggest fear, actually, my biggest concern was that um, if I, when I transitioned, um, no one was ever going to want to date me again. That was my biggest fear. Um, and it put me off for a good, probably a couple of years. I didn't think that I'd be able to carry on with my careers. I thought I'd have really, like, a lot of trouble getting jobs. But as far as the, the jobs and the being a productive human being thing, that was completely unfounded. Physically, honestly, it's my nose. <laughs> Am I looking okay? Which is a very big, kind of broad thing, but it just generally just boils down to just kind of just living, just not putting too much weight on how I look and just getting on with life. Well, one, my hairline. But <laughs> so at the beginning of my transition, like uh, a year ago, I'd notice every single mannerism, little every look, every everything that people would do towards me. And I would assign like negativity to that. For me, I've, it's lower surgery. I, I've learned to, you know, do certain things to help me feel more comfortable and um, not as dysphoric, but every now and then it does, it causes its it's problems. My biggest insecurity is definitely my voice. You know, it's a low voice, and as much as I'm trying to train it, um, it's just not, it always acts to me as being trans. It's not necessarily a bad thing, you can just recognise it, you know, right. just like I recognise some of them being tall or short. Love yourself, then it is very corny, but if you love yourself, then it's, you're going to just attract love. Not to fear their transition. It was a really positive thing, you know, every day I got to see myself grow as the person I knew I wanted to be more and more. So actually, just embrace that transition. Know that you will be all right. And you know, if I could have transitioned 10 years earlier, then, then I would have loved to do that because I sort of feel like there was so much time in my life waiting to kind of get to this point where I'm happy and that I sort of almost have lost 10 years where everyone else was kind of living a normal, a normal productive life. It's great to ask for help, it's great to ask for support, but the one support system you need is yourself. You book those surgeries, you book those doctor's appointments, you rely on you. I never thought that I was going to get to this place where you know I'm happy, where I walk down the street feeling happy, where I look in a mirror and I feel happy. For me, it's not really that hard to stay positive because I just realise you know how lucky we are you know to even be here really. Yeah, yeah. So there we go. You surround yourself with good people, whether those be your colleagues, your family, your friends, you know, uh, people who understand and accept you for who you are. That way, when you have something in your life that you know, throws you off balance. You know, you've got the right and right to catch it. Like, I definitely set goals. If you set a peg in the future... You see yourself growing as you reach that peg. Yeah, you know, yeah. You accomplish it, you see another one. And all of a sudden, yeah. if you look five pegs back, and look how much you've grown. If people would just understand that, you know, we're just, we're humans just like everyone else, and that our experiences are shared and they're universal, uh, we wouldn't have the issues that we, we have today, really. Yeah, no, yeah. definitely. <laughs>